Google just turned your phone's assistant into something out of a sci-fi film. Imagine walking around a new city, pointing your phone at different buildings and monuments, and having your AI tour guide tell you what each one is and the history behind it, or having an AI personal trainer watch you do an exercise and give you real-time feedback on your form and how to improve it. Well, this is no longer some distant dream. It's available now at the click of a button, and as of today, it's completely free to use. All you have to do is say, hey Google, go live, and Gemini will prompt you to either open your camera or share your screen, and now you can ask and show it anything. I've been using this non-stop lately and came up with a ton of useful ways to use it. So today I'm going to show you how it works and how you can start using it to save yourself hours on everyday tasks and money on things you'd usually pay someone else to do. Let's get right into it. First, I'd like to show you an example of how you can actually use this tool before we get into setting this up. This was when I tried Gemini as my personal fitness coach, and here's how that went. I'm just going to show Gemini a very difficult and technical exercise, RDLs, with intentionally bad form, and let's see if it notices anything. Hey Gemini, I've been practicing some RDLs at home. This is my first time doing them. Can you please check if I'm doing them correctly? Sure, I can help with that. Let's see those RDLs. Okay, I see you doing a few more reps. It looks like you're hinging at the hips and keeping the bar close to your legs, which is great. One small thing I noticed is that your back seems to be rounding a bit. Try to keep your back straight and your chest up throughout the movement. Nice. Let me try that out. And you're going to check. Yes, that's it. You're keeping your back straighter and lowering the bar to about mid-shin level. You're also pointing your toes outward a bit. Just remember to keep your chest up and focus on squeezing those glutes as you come up. And that actually feels great. Just how low should I go with the bar? Great. You should lower the bar down to about mid-shin level or until you feel a good stretch in your hamstrings. Does that make sense? Like right here is okay? Yes, that looks great. I think it actually did great. I wasn't expecting it at all. It corrected all of my mistakes and answered all of my questions. So I'm really, really happy with it. And I suggest you try it if you don't have money to hire a personal trainer. As you can see, I was really impressed with it. I felt like a real life Tony Stark on a budget doing this. But imagine just how many things you could do with this tool. You could point it at a crazy new gym machine and it would help you set it up. Or you could ask it to teach you play the piano. The options are really limited list but how do you actually make this work on your phone to make this work all you need is to have the gemini app installed on your phone and then you're just going to go to settings apps and click assistant here where it says hey google then you're just going to scroll down to find the digital assistant setting and make sure you have gemini chosen here now you can either activate the assistant by pressing and holding the power button or by using your voice. And if you don't have your voice match yet, don't worry, just go back to the assistant settings where we were before. You're gonna click voice match here. And now all that's left for you to do is to train it. So that's pretty much it. All you need to do now is to say, hey Google, and this window will pop up. You just need to go live here and you'll see the camera and screen buttons right here and you're ready to go. And yes, this does not work on iPhone. There are similar features on ChatGPT, but they're not free. So why don't you just stop showing off and buy yourself an Android already? For our next example, I gave Gemini a real challenge. This is getting serious, okay? You see, I've just moved apartments and I'm a real doofus when it comes to gadgets and I have no idea how to make most things work around here. So I let my phone's assistant help me instead. Hey Gemini, I have this new microwave in my apartment and I think the clock is set incorrectly. How would I go about changing the time? Okay, I see the clock on your Baco microwave is showing 0, 100. To set the time, you'll need to use the clock slash preset button. Press it once, then use the dial to enter the current time. Press the clock slash preset button again to confirm. Okay, do it. can you check what the time is right now? It's 2.34 p.m. in Tbilisi, Georgia. Okay, let me go ahead and set that. Hey Gemini, I have this strange washing machine in my new place. 
uh, this dial is really weird and I think it's written in Russian here and there's no screen and I literally don't understand how to make this work. Can you help me out with that? Sure, let's get your laundry going. That dial is in Russian, but don't worry, we can figure this out. What kind of clothes are you trying to wash? Uh, just white towels. Okay, white towels. You'll want a hot water setting for those. See the clock box setting on the right side of the dial? That's cotton. Turn the dial to the 60 degree setting for a good hot wash. Do you see it? Okay, I see you've got the Mydea remote there, and it's set to heat. To switch it to cool mode, look for the mode button on the remote. Press it a few times and watch the little symbol on the screen change. You'll want to stop when you see the snowflake icon. That's the cool mode. Let me know if you have any trouble finding the button or the icon. Okay, that's perfect. Can you also teach me some other cool tricks about this remote? Sure. This remote has a quite a few functions. This was really impressive too. I mean, I didn't have to call my landlord with a single thing, so it saved me a ton of time. It especially helped me with the microwave. I was tinkering with it for a while, trying to figure it out. So I definitely recommend you use it if you don't know how something works or if something's broken. Hey, why don't you hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying this content? I'll keep you updated on all of the latest AI releases and show you how to use them to stay super productive. It's only one click away. Okay, back to the video now. Traveling or moving to another country could be really challenging, especially if you don't speak the language and need to do something like buy medicine. So for our next test, I took Gemini to the pharmacy to see if it could help me explain a couple of things. For context, I live in the country of Georgia and nobody speaks English here, so if this works, this could be life-changing. So I'm at the Georgian pharmacy right now and surprise, surprise, nobody speaks English here. So I'm just going to open Gemini, go live and ask it to translate for me. I've already tried it with my taxi driver last night and it worked really well so let's go ahead and try it out hey gemini i have a stuffy nose and i live in georgia and i don't speak georgian can you please translate it for me i want to ask them to give me something from my stuffy nose and how much it costs sure thing you could say that means i have a stuffy nose can you give me something how much does it cost perfect can you say it for them please Sure, here it is. Sweetie Mops Kaja Dili, Shagizli Atrame Monset, Ravis. Can you track and let me know if this would be the correct one? Yes, that looks like it could be the right one. It's a nasal spray for congestion. Do you want me to translate the instructions on the box into Georgian for you? No, can you translate the ingredients to English, please? Sure. It looks like the active ingredient is xylometazoline hydrochloride, and it also contains sodium phosphate, sodium chloride, and water. Is there anything else on the label you'd like me to translate? As you just saw, it did a very good job and I will definitely be using this again. Also, I think this could be really useful if you want to learn a new language and don't have time or budget to go to classes. For a final test, I took my phone's assistant to the supermarket to see if it could help me with a couple of things. You see, I'm very bad at math, but I like watching my diet. So first I had Gemini count calories for me. So I have these two ice cubes right here. I want you to tell me how many calories are in each one. So this is the first option. Option. We've got uh, about 80 grams here and 341 calories per 100 grams. And then we've got option two, which is about 60 grams. And uh, as for the calorie options, we've got 212 calories. So which one is the best option and how many calories are in each one? The first ice cream you showed has 341 calories per 100 grams and it weighs 80 grams. So that's about 273 calories. The second one has 216 calories per 100 grams, and it's 60 grams, so that's around 130 calories. The second one is the better option if you're looking for fewer calories. Chips look tasty. What can I help you with? I'm allergic to peanuts. Can you check the ingredients and let me know if I'm okay? Could you show the back of the package so I can read the ingredients? Yes, I'm not sure what language this is. Okay, the first ingredient list is in Dutch. It looks like the chips are made from potatoes and sunflower oil and seasoned with things like onion powder, buttermilk powder, and some spices. I don't see any peanuts listed there. Overall, 
I think it did really well, but this is where it took too long explaining things. I wish it went straight to the point. Also, I felt really silly talking to a robot in front of everyone, but I'm sure if you were wearing headphones, that wouldn't be a problem. Before filming this video, I was expecting this tool to be fun to play around with and mildly useful, but I didn't expect it to be so damn good, especially the fact that it can just switch between languages like that. Even Georgian, which is a minority language, only about 5 million people in the world actually speak it and it does it with ease and I think it takes care of every single detail when you're talking to it and has a ton of potential to be super useful and the fact that it's actually free is just mind-blowing so go ahead and try it out I'd love to know how you are using it down in the comments I chose this video specifically for you to watch next because I know you're lazy and you love watching Netflix so why don't you just learn how to use AI and save yourself time to do what you do best being a couch potato. I'll see you there.